it's been a while. It really has since two weeks since the last video I did. And recently, I am now allowed to watch Family Guy. So, let me just give you the lowdown. I like the show. I don't love it. It's funny, but it crosses the line for three out of every four jokes it does. But, honestly, there hasn't been a, a moment that has really crossed the line as much as in Halloween on Spooner Street. This was in no means a bad episode. I liked the Peter Quagmire and Joe plot. I did. I liked the Stewie and Brian plot. I did. I have a slight annoyance with the Megan and Chris plot. So, basically, let me describe this plot for you, and then I'll get on with the rest of the episode. So, basically, Meg is um, playing like a caddish character, and she's going to a Halloween party. Um, Chris was going to go as the um, Bill Cosby, but he didn't because it would require putting on blackface, which lowest point it out. Um, the episode goes pretty good until a point. The point was once it got to the party. See, they were playing like spin the bottle, like a closet variant stuff. Um, trust me, these Family Guy um, reviews are going to have plenty of me expressing my personal sides and beliefs. But, in the, um, and it ended with, well, like, so, Meg spins the ball against Optimus Prime. Turns out the person in that Optimus Prime costume was Chris. And, and, Nicky, Ricky, Dicky, and Dawn was bad with it. This one moment brought down an otherwise good episode to probably, like, a 6 out of 10 for me. Um, because, once again, as I said, the show crosses the line all the time. It's, it's rather terrible when they do, and quite frankly, I'm not a fan when they do. But I do like the show. Family Guy is nonetheless a good show, unless they went down. I actually want to do two additional reviews on it. And I'm going to surprise people with one of these. The first one that I have planned is a review of Then There Was Fewer, which was one of the best episodes I've seen of the show. And probably, alongside The Simpsons, it's probably in the top ten for both of those shows combined. The second one is Not All Dog Goes, Dogs Go to Heaven. And I'm just going to get this out of the way. People find it very bad, like, worst thing they've ever seen. I just find it bad. So, I'm ready to get my hands bloody with some controversy. Yeah. So, do you like the new direction I'm headed in? Checking out more shows and stuff will slowly be entering my palette and stuff. I plan to definitely move towards the more, um, taking apart an episode more. Once again, I'll tell you, I find Family a Guy a good show. I'll do a full review on it later, trust me. Um, yet I do not find it great past that. It's probably a 7 out of 10 at most. Like, and I'm kind of including both parts of it in. What's funny is, like, a popular episode I know was the, the episode The Boom. I wasn't a fan. Aside from the chicken fight, the episode didn't have much for me. I'll probably review that. But you can expect me to start going more to a regular thing. Of course, you're going to get a review of my next week, this very day, um, for the new Gravity Falls that's coming out. Steven Universe will soon return, and I'll be going for that. So, 
yeah, nothing much is going to be happening on this channel for a little bit, aside from the vlogs on classic ones. Still working on the Nickelodeon thing, though. And that will be impressive. I can guarantee you it. It will be my most quality video I've produced yet. Anyway, thank you for watching. Oh. So, and have a great day.